I'm hoping for that trick where where it doubles. I guess. <laughs> I like your line of thinking, though. Hey, two words. Cauliflower bagel. Yep, it's a thing, and we're going to share where you can snag one, and they're tasty. Plus, it's giveaway time. We're sending you to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo opening day. We're going to tell you how you can win tickets. Plus, hand-pulled noodles and authentic Chinese dishes you can only get here. David Elder takes you inside Lucky Noodle. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Oh, yeah, it is all about the monkey business this Monday afternoon. Monkey's Emporium is here, and those guys are going to take over the set a little later on in the show. Because we've had them on before, and it always gets a little monkey crazy. Yeah, you know, the, the classic don't work, work with kids and animals, especially Completely not those kind of monkeys. <laughs> But they just make you laugh just looking at them. So, yes. All right. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. We have got a packed show and a packed week leading up to the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, which is coming up this Saturday morning. And, yep, rain or shine, no matter the temperature, we are going to be there. Yes, it's the official kickoff to rodeo, and we're so excited to be a part of it. So, you know, how do you rodeo? What's your favorite part? I think for us, Ooh. it's kind of it's kind of the, the cattle drive. Yeah, I, I would off. have to, I I would mean, have to say so. Yeah. yeah. And if you go to the rodeo, mm-hmm. um, you know, is it this particular event? Is it the Midway? Is it the fried Oreos? You look forward to a specific show? The funnel know, cakes? Concert? Mm-hmm. All that other you fried stuff. funnel cakes. You always want oh, funnel, funnel cakes. Funnel cakes are great. <laughs> and, bring you oh, a giant we one. need to do a question. Funnel cakes yeah. with or oh, without no. like strawberries. Is it just the powdered sugar? That's a whole different show. <laughs> uh, but how do you rodeo? You we- <laughs> <laughs> know, I know. Yeah. Ted's, Ted's just on camera at his going. watch going, okay, oh my goodness. On. So you see the question at the bottom <laughs> of the screen. That's what we want to know from you today. He'll he'll do that one another time. But at SA Life Case ad on Facebook and Twitter, how do you rodeo? Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel, I know. Come back. Come back. Funnel cake. Come back. Come back. Come back. All right, speaking of the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, you know who's going to be there. You're going to catch these ladies out there. The Thomas Jefferson Lassos are a service performance and spirit organization making a difference in the lives of young women by developing them as leaders and by encouraging academic excellence. They've performed in fiesta parades, world fairs, and have even been nationally recognized on the cover of Life magazine. They are performing Saturday at the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. For more information on the team, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Ladies, take it away!
fantastic, ladies. Once again, the Thomas Jefferson Lassos are performing at this year's Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And you can watch it here this Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on KSAT 12. And joining us right now is Mary Garcia, who is the director of the Jefferson High School <laughs> Lassos. I loved watching them and you just looking at them. Uh, you just had your hands full. Thank you. They are fantastic. That was great. Yes, that was great. Thank you. <laughs> I love you watching them Y'all can come perform. a little closer. Y'all yeah. can come a little closer. <laughs> okay. All right. So what are some events the ladies have participated in? Um, we do a whole bunch of events throughout the year, um, mostly through our district. We've also been uh, recognized uh, Recognized nationally, we were part and performed at the National Dance Educators Organization last year, which is the first time that national conference has ever been hosted here in San Antonio and in the state of Texas. So how did the gals become uh, one of the lassos? Um, well, they go through an audition process. Um, we follow district requirements, so all the girls have to complete a full year on our Lariat Pep Squad and or athletics band ROTC in order to even audition for our organization. Um, so they're upper freshmen, they're sophomore through seniors. And this is something that's more than just you know, we're in the, the great outfits and doing the lasso is kind of a philanthropic organization as well. Correct. Right? Yeah, we really um, hold the girls to high standards, especially since our organization was established in 1932 as a leadership and spirit organization. We try to keep those things the focus and the heart of organization. So the girls are role models in their school, they're role models in the community. They focus a lot on leadership and community service. And if somebody wanted to donate or see more of that, how do they do that? Um, well, you can donate directly to the school, Thomas Jefferson. Just make sure it's a check or money order made to the Thomas Jefferson High School Lassos or to our Lasso Alumni Association. They are a big help and huge supporter of our organization. You can check them out at their website. All right. And it's great when all the alumni get together and somebody... Do you keep your rope when you graduate? Uh, yes, they do. Yes, oh, really? all you the do. girls get to keep their own. Yeah, a lot of okay. them have had them as long as they've been on the team. So, Oh, fantastic. Ladies, you were wonderful. Yes, thank uh, you so much. See you Saturday. <clears throat> For more information on the Thomas Jefferson Lassos, just head to our website, salive.com. You know what to do. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, so many cool events happening during the rodeo. This year, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo added a new event, for adults only. Yes, indeed. Here's a preview of what you can expect. The rodeo after dark is it's, it's really just an extension of areas that we've had success in previously. You know, San Antonio is, is a city that gravitates so much towards a you know a festival fiesta type feel. It's it's ingrained in all of us that grew up here. And this is really just a combination of, of where we have had successes as well as what's uh, would consider a, a San Antonio culture. Um, we all love to go around and listen to blended music and have all the all the late night food in the same manner that we have at Fiesta. And this is just kind of Rodeo's version of that. We're gonna have diverse music playing out there. Uh, we're, we're such a melting pot of cultures in San Antonio and we take, we take pride of that and coming from here. Uh, we have a cantina that's going to be playing Latin music. Uh, we've got our wine garden and our craft beer garden, which will be acoustical, so you can lay back and enjoy a glass of wine and just have a nice acoustical feel to it. And we've got our standard, our Bud Light tent, where we'll be sitting uh, smack dab in the middle of our food court. It's actually surrounded on either sides of our in a horseshoe type formation. And it's just an extension of what's happening within the AT&T Center. So you come down the rodeo grounds and you can kind of get a feel of it all by moving around. We say we're trying to offer something to everybody. Yeah, if you're a music fan, um, you enjoy being out and with the, you know, few thousand of your closest friends in San Antonio on, in one particular tent, well, well, come on, we have this place for you. That is such a neat idea. Right. Instead of just having the one main headliner inside the stadium, you can just kind of hang out and just have a good time. Big old party. Yes. With a couple of thousand of your closest friends. So, of course, the uh, San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo gets underway week from Thursday on the 7th and runs through the 24th. You want to go? We want to send you. That's right. We're giving away a family four-pack of tickets to Rodeo Opening Day. All you got to do is head on over to our Facebook page. You can find that at SA Live KSAT. Click on the post and enter for your chance to win. All rules and regulations are posted on salive.com. If you don't win today, don't worry. We're giving away tickets all week long. So Ooh, good luck. Really? Still ahead. It's a magic Monday. Local magician Vince has a few tricks up his sleeve. Plus, delicious Asian cuisine made from scratch. David Elder takes you inside Lucky Noodles. So stay with us.
I've been making hand-pulled noodles for only two years. In that short time, he has become a master of the ancient art form. Gui works at Lucky Noodle located on the north side, a Chinese noodle house serving authentic Chinese food. Not that stuff that you find at any of those places with an express or a garden in its name. Shout out to Panda though, I still love you. shop is celebrating two years in San Antonio. In those two years, they've made a shift from their traditional Chinese flavors to accommodate what they say is the American palate. More salt and more seasoning. They even have a different menu than what they started with. Now, it's more refined, serving only their most popular dishes, like their spicy beef hand-pulled thin noodle soup and their ham-pulled thick noodle lamb soup. How do you eat this? <laughs> do you just like, do you just go in at it like that? Like just eat it like that? Just like that, you just grab a spoonful and you just bite into the noodle. I'm gonna get better at eating on my swim. <laughs> just going for it. This is phenomenal. I could eat that whole bowl. Oh, it's so good. And great job making those noodles. It looks really good. These noodles are what's up. They make a chili oil in house. Is, it, is that too much? Look at all that spice on there, man. There we go. That's spicy. So good though. Oh, my eyes still twitching. Also on the menu, handmade dumplings. The dumplings get stuck with your choice of beef, chicken, or shrimp and pack a ton of flavor. Now you saw these just get made in the kitchen. Check this out. This is their chicken and shrimp dumplings, all made by hand, fresh, and they're made to order, which is great. The texture is fantastic. You saw them get made, so you know they're fresh. And the inside has so much flavor in it. You don't need to dip them in anything. You don't need to add anything to them. It's like eating a tasty cloud. Fantastic. And if you love fried rice, they got you covered. Their fried rice comes in multiple variations, including shrimp, chicken, beef, a combination or plain. So come on out here to Lucky Noodle. They're celebrating two years here in San Antonio, right off of Blanco Road and West. This is where it's at. You got the dumplings, hand-pulled noodles, and everything is made fresh in house. Look at that. You need to come get some of this. This is authentic Chinese food at its best. This is what's up. Want to check out all the other places I've been to? Now you can. Just go to eldereats.com or follow me online at Elder Eats on social media. Keep eating San Antonio for SA Live. I'm David Elder. Still ahead, looks like a bagel, tastes like a bagel, but the catch is it's cauliflower. Yep, we're going to taste it coming up. Plus, we're monkeying around with our favorite Ms. Monkey's Emporium, so stay with us. Yes, you're not seeing things. Oh. That's a monkey. And you know, we've been talking to Fiona about this, but she's got a monkey on her back. I, know. <laughs> I thought that Thank was you very much. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Hey, it's always a good Monday when there are monkeys on the show. Robert Williams with Ms. Monkeys Emporium is here with his two favorite friends. Please introduce us once again. Yes. This is Sasha. She's a brown tufted capuchin who's addicted to whipped cream. Oh, <laughs> we all, as you see. That. And especially, this is the new coconut, and it hardly has any sugar. It's really light. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Ooh. Look at her. Oh, she wants some more. <laughs> She okay. likes all the goodies. And this is Cody. He's a white throat capuchin. Hi, Cody. He's native to Costa Rica. She's 10 years old. He's, he's nine and a half. Uh -huh. And they're my kids. And they're, they've, got, they've got incredible personalities. I mean, they really, they're, really do. And these, these are the monkeys we usually see in movies. Right. right? Yeah. Crystal is the one you see in most of the movies. It's a brown tufted like her. And she's 30-something okay. years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> they live 40 to 50 years. Okay. They're definitely not drinking violets. Yeah. No, Hello. No, How are you? No. And they have a few new tricks up their sleeve, right? Yeah. Okay. Sasha. Oh. Show Mike your straw. Here. Here. Hi. Uh, put him in my mouth. Yeah. yeah. Now she wants you to blow. Give it to him. Here. You want uh, blow. Here. I'll go I like lost. Here. I lost sight of which side was whose. <laughs> You're gonna blow back. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't blow back. She okay. Just, she just wants you to blow. Okay. She's fascinated with it. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you bonded. <laughs> 
She I'm now a, knows your scent. I learned this trick in a bar years ago, so. I, <laughs> okay. yeah, look, she's ready to be rewarded. Okay. Oh, that, that's what but it's all about right there. They have the IQ of two to three-year-olds, and I let them be kids. Mm-hmm. And they've got the personality of that as well. Yeah. They are just, how do you, I mean, rambunctious doesn't even begin to describe these guys. No, they're full of energy from the minute they get up till the minute they go to bed, but they sleep all night. They, and they sleep actually about 12 hours a day. Oh. So they have plenty of energy. And <laughs> wow. they, they love attention when they're around people is when they're happiest. Because we, we become their natural truth. Okay. Right. <laughs> and also, there is a reason behind having a couple of bottles of booze sitting there, too. Yeah, we do a lot of work with Dripping Springs. And they support some of the charity and stuff that we do. And so, Sasha, we were out at the Titans of Tailgate here in San Antonio yesterday when the weather was just amazing. And Sasha was out there taking pictures and posing. Your hand. You want me to help you with this? Here we go. Yeah. Let him help you. I will, I will, here, here, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere with it. Oh. Mike's oh. just going to give her the okay. nitrous. Oh. oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's, let's, hey, things can get be, crazier. <laughs> it's better, better than coffee. Let's get the monkey even more hopped up. So, but, uh, but as far as in the wild and the reason why they go for, you said they even peel they the hide. off those. So. I've been to um, Costa Rica many times where the white throats are native. They hide their fruit and let it ferment. And if you try to give them fresh or dried fruit like these guys are used to eating, they'll throw it in the water. They won't eat it. They want the alcohol in it. And that's why they steal the drinks naturally on the beach. <laughs> so when we're around it, I have to watch them because, y'all, as you saw earlier, she was trying right. to open, open it. it and she can. Yeah. She knows exactly what's in it. And so I have hard. to keep them away. And uh, Friday night, we were at a... <laughs> She's got a death grip on this thing, so... <laughs> Here we go. Okay, here There's we a go. Ball. <laughs> Cody. Hold on, here we go. Oh, oh well, one more time. Okay. Oh, hey, so close, humble. so close, so close. Now folks can meet them, right? Because will you do parties and events? Yes, we do all kinds of parties and events and we're gonna be working even more with uh, Dripping Springs are opening a new tasting room. Mm-hmm. So we come out and let them sit and interact and play with people and they get to take their pictures with them. And they've met some Hollywood stars? Oh yeah, they've actually done a music rap video. And what? Dale Shores, the author who wrote Sorted Lives, he wrote, he met Cody and he wrote a play called Six Characters in Search for a, a Play. And Co- they have a character that Ready? Cody's in. Ready? It. Ready? Here you go. Okay, catch. So. Oh! Hey! There's it. Throw it. Throw it. Can you throw it? Throw it. No. 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 Okay. no. Sasha's been a cheerleader with the All Houston right. Texans and she grew up playing with Brian Cushing from oh, the Texans. So. Okay. Well, for more information. Thank you very much, Rod. That's Thank all, you. I, wonderful having those guys on here, and you too, by the way. Uh, for more information on Ms. Monkey's Emporium, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Yes, all the information will be there on how you can book them. All right, next on the show, New Year, New You. Dr. Rogers Center is here to help you reach your goals. Details next. Welcome back, everyone. Well, here's a question for you. How are you doing on your New Year's resolution to lose weight or just focus on being healthy? Well, Dr. Rogers Centers can give you the support you need to reach your goals. And Dr. Tamara Rogers, who is the founder of the Dr. Rogers Centers, is here. Good afternoon. Good, Good seeing afternoon. you. Good to see you, too. Happy New Year. So a lot of people made those resol- resolutions to lose weight. Um, And a lot don't really stick to it. Why? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest part is a lot of people see a lot of the fad diets and they start actually doing diets that they don't even really like. You might not even like the food that's in the diet. So how are you going to maintain that past the 30-day challenge or the 15-day challenge? So one, you've got to find something that you actually enjoy eating to become part of your, you know, to become part of that lifestyle. And then also having to do with kind of weight law and the same thing, what you put in your body with diabetes, which is quite prevalent around here. Yeah, you know, with diabetes, and that's what we try to show is that it's, you know, what you eat is really your most powerful medication that you can do. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at patients, we want to obviously do foods that don't have sugar in them or drink drinks that don't have sugar in them. And so we want to educate our patients exactly what that means and what foods those are. And you have a chart, which Yeah, so this is this. this just shows you a very typical patient comes into us. Their hemoglobin A1C is about 11. So imagine your hemoglobin A1C is basically a red blood cell that's floated around in your body for 120 days. So how much of that apple, if we think about it, is coated with sugar? Okay, so then we have a patient here. You would have to take five medications 
which is the red line, and you don't even reach, you know, what would be goal or would be normal. Mm -hmm. Whereas one of, we have the, this is one of our patients that actually did our program for six months, and you can see they're only down to one medication now, and they got off all their other medications, their cholesterol medicine, and all the ones that have all of these side effects, and now they're at a normal level. So if you look at what five medications would cost, you're looking like $10,000 for six months of treatment plus all the side effects. Whereas you could do our program for six months, we see you about 24, 30 times during that time for $1,800. So much cheaper, you feel much better, and there's no side effects except feeling good. And the trick is what you put in your mouth as far as food, right? Absolutely. Basically. So if you can eat properly, and then we will teach you with our training and nutritionists to eat properly, and then also work out properly through our VO2 testing, then you're going to be able to control your diabetes without medications. A couple of before and after pictures that we have up here, and explain... So this is one of our uh, one of our patients. She came in. Uh, she's a dentist. She works all the time. She has a family, and she did our body sculpt program. And you'll be able to see um, after six months of treatment how much weight wow. she lost. She doesn't have the saggy skin because she did our body sculpt, which we do very particular types of exercise to help with that skin laxity. And one more. And then we also have that non-surgical option, the Obalon balloon that we talked about before here on the show. So this is one of our patients that went in, did the balloon therapy, and did great. So we're looking at that 50, 60, 70 pounds in that six months is what we're trying to accomplish That's there. That's the balloon that gets put in your stomach, yeah, pulls it that up, one and you that, feel yeah, full the whole time, yeah, and then you just absolutely. take it out and you're done. Yep, at six months, then we remove them. Okay, and yeah. then you've got a special for viewers today, too. Yeah, so if anybody that comes in, everybody's always worried about once they lose weight, what I'm going to do with that skin, and so we actually do a complimentary Viora treatment. You can feel it, see how you feel like it works for you. And then we can put you on a package to be uh, tightening that skin as you're losing the weight. Okay, well, for more of it, great, I mean, great information on this. And, you know, again, get off all those medications. For more information on Dr. Rogers Centers, go to d-rrogerscenters.com or call them at 210-879-8808. That's 210-879-8808. And again, that's drrogerscenters.com. Dr. Rogers, thank you very much. Good seeing you. You're welcome. Thank All you. All right, stick around because we've got magic with Vince this magical Monday. You think he'll pull a rabbit out of his hat, make one of us disappear? You don't know would like that if I didn't. No, I'm kidding. That's up next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. It's a magic Monday. Vince Williams is a local magician, and he's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Good still afternoon. trying to make that dollar bill float. <laughs> got to keep practicing. That's yeah. what I always tell everyone. It hasn't everyone. happened yet over here. Uh, okay. so I actually have a pretty cool, um, one of my favorites. It's a card trick. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I brought with me a red pack of cards. I know they look a little different because of the back, mm -hmm. but right. I assure you that they are normal. Okay. okay. So with this, is it okay if I have you just okay. touch any card that you want? Okay. That one? That. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do something weird with this one, okay? okay? I want you to uncap that Sharpie for me. Okay. Okay. The reason why that I have them red on the back is so we can see your signature. I want you to sign real big right here. Okay. Just like that. eBay. Okay. Just kidding. All right. So with your signature, um, I'm going to go ahead and have your hand just like this. We're going to go ahead and give you your queen. And I want you just to put your other hand right on top and make sure okay. I can't get to it, okay? Okay. Is it okay if I have you just tell me when to stop? Stop. Right there, we're actually going to use that card. Okay. The Eight of Hearts. Just like we did with your card, where we had you sign on the back, uh -huh. I'm actually going to have you sign on the front, if you can untap that and sign it anywhere okay. that you want. That's, just like that. I don't even know what that says. Right? right. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Just genius. like her, is it okay know. if I have your hand out just like a okay. table? Thank you. Just like that. All right, I'm going to try something. Is it okay if I take yeah. your card? Yeah. Just like that. Okay. We can actually take the signature <gasps> off one. And did you feel anything at all? No. No? I want you to turn over that card. If it works, we actually got the oh signature. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just like that. <laughs> I know, and I know. Uh, but the thing is, I don't only just do card tricks. There's a thing that I'm known for. Okay. Down here, okay. And you can yeah. keep that. That's your souvenir. And I'll let you try to figure that one out, okay? <laughs> he's he's so. always so stumped. It's so great. Or befuddled. I love it. Befuddled. That's why I do it. That's mm -hmm. why befuddled. I do it. Okay. So <laughs> with this one, I'm going to go ahead and um, have you. I want you just to pull out three popcorn kernels. 
Okay. Each? Just three. Oh, just three total. Three okay. total? There's three one. total. Okay. Okay. Two. Two. And... Three. Okay. Okay. okay, since you have two and you have one, I'll have you hold on to that one. Okay. That one's going to go on a weird journey. Okay. 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 I'm going to take these two. Mm-hmm. Usually I have water. I do not have water, so I'm just going to improvise. Okay. Left or right? I'm sorry? Left or right? Left. Left. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. That's <laughs> go opposite. Okay. Okay. Right. And you know, all, they're all connected. You know your yeah, microphone yeah. just came off your yeah. ear real quickly here. Okay. Let me just Let's fix that. that right there. Yeah. Okay. And you know how they're all connected, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. That's one. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's two, right? I'll be darned. But like I said, that was just a demonstration yeah. of the, the passages. Yeah. I said that one was going to go on a weird journey, right? Yeah. So is it okay if I have you just put it right here? Okay. Okay. Since Where? you said left, we're going to use right this time, okay? Okay. No way. No way. <laughs> oh my god, no way. No. Magic. <laughs> um, I was not mentally prepared for very that. Quick, I know. I thought, okay, where can people follow you very quickly while I'm getting that image out of my head? <laughs> Any social media, yeah. especially Instagram and Facebook at Vince Williams Magic. Wow. Uh, yeah, for more on Vince Williams, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very Thank you so much. much. I'm sorry. Shake wow. I'm, just I'm, just <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm, I'm used to it. Kidding. Wow. All right. Okay. Woo-hoo. Next time I say live, bagel like a boss. How about eating a bagel without worrying about all those carbs? We're talking cauliflower bagel. Stay with us. Ooh, there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, we got two words for you. Cauliflower bagel. Chef and owner Brandon uh, Swallow is here from Boss Bagel. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm excellent. All right. So cauliflower bagels. Mm -hmm. We've had cauliflower pizza crust before. Um, What do they taste like, Fiona? They're so good. Really? Wow. But Mm. tastes like a regular bagel or different? A little different. A little different? A little okay. different, but good. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So how do you make this? How did you come up with the idea? Uh, the idea came from the pizza crust phenomenon mm-hmm. that I've been experiencing, and uh, I, I just wanted to be first in the country to do it. Okay. So I, I don't even know of any other shop that's doing this. So perfect if uh, you know, want to be gluten-free and no carbs and all that, Absolutely. Right? It's, it's very low carb. How do we get started here? All right. So the, the most difficult part of it is... You have to purchase cauliflower heads, right. and we grind them. But you, could, you didn't have a grinder. You could do it in a Cuisinart at home until they're just minced up real fine. And then you poach them or steam them, or you could microwave them until mm-hmm. they're tender. And then the difficult part comes where you have to wring that puree, that mash, out until it's as dry as possible, which is what you see here. Okay. So go ahead and dump it into the bowl. This in the whole bowl. Thing? Yep, we have okay. four eggs in that bowl. And right. then we have a little bit of almond flour. Some coconut flour. So you got to have the flour here to be somewhat yep. of a binder for Absolutely. it all too, right? We have a little bit of rice flour, minimal mm-hmm. amount, and yeast for leavening purposes. And then, But this doesn't have to proof like regular bread though, right? No, nope, okay. not at all. It proofs in the oven when you bake it. Low milk, uh, low moisture skim milk mozzarella, okay. shredded, and Parmesan shredded. Doesn't need salt, doesn't need pepper, and it's already seasoning due to the actual cheese. Seasons the bagel itself. So with all these cheeses in here and everything like that, the calories are still there, obviously. Absolutely. It's okay. low carb, high fat. All right. And you're not making a ton of these right now, but you're selling out left. You know, I sell out every day, two dozen a day. They're selling like hotcakes. Or yeah, selling like they bagels, are selling so. like hotcakes. And okay. so you mash this up like you're doing like that, right. and you end up with this 
uh, kind of a gluey like mixture, almost like a Play Doh clay kind of mixture. Now, you usually uh, boil the bagels and then cook them in the wood fire and all that, That's but you correct. don't do that with these, right? No, you can't do that with these. These can't go in, in any water. Okay. So, the challenge that we had next is how do we make them look like a bagel? Right. It'd be easy to do a pizza crust with it because you can just smear it out, but that was the next challenge. So, okay, I want you to take see, some of the dough. Say this is all mixed together here yep. and fill this Slam up. Slam it into the cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then flip the cup over onto a surface and then when you're going to bake them you want to spray them with uh some type of a spray there we go and that's a really big one <laughs> usually we do half the size but hey everything's it's, bigger in texas right here we go it's a double size monday so that's right okay so this would be yep, down smash it a little bit okay Look, you know what's Put going on stick, right. a, stick your finger in the middle make a hole like a bagel oh that is a nice size okay. bagel and if you want to crust it you brush it with a little egg wash and then you could crust it with sesame you could crust it with everything you could crust it with jalapenos whatever you want and then you could do sandwiches out of this too right? absolutely so people come into the store okay. they already have them made up and then uh, we make a sandwich out, on them, out of them, or you can have them as is, or you can have them from, from the toaster. So we toast them. And this sandwich that I'm going to make you is called the Fancy Pig. Okay. And along with these bagels, uh, how many different flavors do you have of bagels and schmear and everything else? We have 16 varieties of, uh, of bagels, and we have 29 schmears, and then we always carry a couple specials every single day. And then what's, what's in that schmear? Yeah. Oh, on the sandwich right there. there. Pesto, pesto is schmear. the best mm -hmm. Pesto Ooh. schmear. That sounds Whole milk really mozzarella. Good. We got fresh spinach. And then here's the kicker right here. It's a one-year age prosciutto ham. Ooh. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> uh, you're going to have that on a sandwich. on your face. <laughs> this is called the fancy pig. I know you're going to want some, so we've got to cut it in half. I don't want any fights to break out here. No, no, no. Just give me my half. <laughs> All right. And Boss Bagel Absolutely. is right over there in Sunset Thank Ridge. You. Shopping area. Right and under the marquee. One of those. Let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. A pesto oh, schmear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have mm -hmm. tofu schmears if you're worried about that. So we have, we hit every single dietary issue you could imagine okay. in the store. Mm -hmm. That is a sandwich that, yeah, yeah. you need to get. Yeah. I'm on <laughs> it. Right. I'm on it. Random. <laughs> thank you very much. Boss Bagel. It's always Again, over there at Sunset Ridge, if you want more information. Mm -hmm. On them, and boy, you get one of those warm bagels with schmear on, or one of these cauliflower bagels. Go to salive.com and click on the <laughs> As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, good eats and drinks plus 100% of the proceeds go back to charity. We're taking you inside Charity Bar and Churia Restaurant. Plus, let's rodeo San Antonio. Rodeo looks for men. That and more tomorrow. All right, earlier we asked you, how do you rodeo? Milagro says, the kickoff. I see them go by near Rigsby. Oh, okay. And Raina says, the riding going down my neighborhood, some good old tradition. Julie says, I go to the parade. Yay, we will see you there. Kathy says, by volunteering at the horse show committee, so much happens in the expo hall that so many people miss. Come check it out. So true. Great advice. And Jackie says, always look forward to rodeo time to watch the Jefferson High School Lassos on SA Live. Love their routine. Great job, ladies. They did do a phenomenal Amen job. Amen to that. They're fantastic. Hey, speaking of the rodeo, the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive is, of course, coming up this Saturday morning. Yes, that's You're right. You're going to be there. Yes, and so is the Vaquero Cook-Off at La Villita. Tomorrow is the final deadline to register for the cook-off. There is a late entry fee. So to enter, just go to sarodeo.com slash vaquero. The cook-off is happening this Friday and Saturday at La Villita, and there's going to be a big kickoff party this Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. with a musical performance by Gabe Garcia. And be sure to watch the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive right here on KSAT 12. We're going to be there down there bright and early, and coverage starts at 11 o'clock, and we're going to go an hour and a half this year so we can yeah. see the entire, entire parade. parade. And I believe the Longhorn should be getting to us at about uh, maybe 10 after or so, something like that. And Jen's going to be at the Picaro Cook-Off. David's going to be right there wrestling the wrestling or What's wrangling, wrestling? wrangling. What's he wrangling? The Longhorns. Oh, right. Oh, what? He just he doesn't know that yet, but <laughs> surprise. <laughs> and the Picaro Cookoff is great because it starts Friday, and that I think is rice 
and then beans, yeah, and then beans and menudo and carne asada is on Saturday. So if you want to get the grand prize and the belt buckle, you got to cook them all. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow right here at 1 o'clock with more monkeying around on the show. I don't know. Oh, my. Yes. Oh, look.